Hey guys, I'm John Zombie with the Lifetime Body, and this week's topic is all about body composition and body shaping. I've got some great tips for you, and they're coming right up. This week's topic is the move and the boot. Specifically, I'm going to share some secrets to help you reduce your moves and improve both the function and fashion of your booty. BK and I recorded a podcast episode today on this very topic, and you'll find it at the Lifetime Body Podcast in case you want to take a deeper dive into the subject. Uh, also, I will make sure to post a link to that show in the description box below. In today's quick video, I'm going to give you a tweak to your training that you can use to maximize your results when targeting your workouts towards moves and booties. It's really no secret. It's just a little something called the squeeze. Moves, or man moves if you will, are a condition known as gynecomastia and are primarily the result of metabolic dysregulation brought about by hormonal imbalances. In the podcast, I go over some of the environmental toxins and endogenous factors which contribute to moves, but we can also address this issue in training. By improving our posture and then opening up our chest and shoulders, we can minimize the appearance of moves even while we're removing them with diet and lifestyle interventions. Simply work on some basic movements like face pulls or rowing that allow you to emphasize terminal external rotation and retraction in the shoulder girdle, along with thoracic spine extension. This is the natural finish of these training movements that emphasizes the squeeze of the shoulder girdle and optimizes posture, performance, and appearance. With booties, we not only want to develop a round, full backside for aesthetic purposes, we also benefit greatly from having these powerful muscles functioning optimally. The squeeze works with every movement, but is most valuable in those full body, compound, anti gravity movements like squats, deadlifts, and step ups. Instead of just going up and down and through the motions, really finish each rep by squeezing the buttocks, tucking the pelvis, and applying a slight external rotation or outer corkscrew motion to the legs. Imagine cracking a walnut back there. This helps to ensure that these exercises give you maximum recruitment and development of the buttock muscles. You might already be doing these things in your training, but if not, give them a try. I think you'll be amazed at the results. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to the channel so that I can keep giving you secrets of ultimate wellness and performance so that you can make your body last a lifetime.